Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dirk Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Int LR Android 17 Team Universe 7 unit and basically just how good is that unit in DBZ Dirk Metal at 55% in the hidden potential system. Now I'm going to be honest with you, 55% uh, uh, is always a very touchy subject especially for easy a's because some people you know, or a lot of people i should say at the very least have the unit at a usable level whereas like for people like myself uh you may find we've been very unlucky and only managed to get one copy now android 17 is really really solid even at 55 percent and is a good support floating unit for one of the strongest teams in the game being superheroes but also being universal reps and uss so he is a reps even with 7 lead of key plus 4, 170% uh, HP attack and defense, which is really, really cool. Uh, on top of that as well, uh, he also benefits from the fact that he massively raises attack for one turn and boosts his allies attack and defense on his 12 key and also on his 18 key whilst also boosting uh, their critical hit chance uh, for, you know, two turns so on the 12 key it's a one turn buff for allies but on the, the 18 key it's a two turn buff attack and defense of 188 percent sorry 177 percent key plus one up to five crit chance up seven up to 35 and damage reduction up seven up to 35 per reps of universe seven category ally on the team so basically if we have a full team of five we have 35 percent damage reduction 35 percent crit and obviously extra key and uh, we also have an additional attack and defense of 77 percent which is great um if and damage reduction 17 percent and crit chance of 17 percent if there is another five or more reps of the seven category allies on the team and then we also change certain key spheres of a certain type to int which is helpful and then on top of that, we also have the ability to have 77% attack and defense when key is 17 or more. An additional 77% when key is 22 or more and guaranteed super. Key plus three per rainbow key sphere obtained and then an additional key plus one attack and defense 7% and a crit chance per rainbow key sphere for allies. So to cut a long story short, in terms of raw performance, this unit is great. Two turn buff on the 18 key of 30% really helpful. On top of that as well, remember we also have the ability to boost our allies in the same turn. So three orbs is a 21% crit chance boost as well as a 21% attack and defense boost. On top of the unit being really, really good and having a baseline 58% damage reduction themselves. They don't have enough raw defense and damage reduction to be a first slot tank, uh, which I think a lot of people would want them to be, even at a rainbow level, and they should have them linked up with Android Assault and Infinite Energy, all being active. Generally speaking, I'd say they're not a first slot unit. But as a second slot unit, or even just a floating support, I think they're really, really good. Uh, the USS or Raps team is pretty set in stone. If you think about it, you have Tech UI Goku, you want to link them up with the AGL UI Goku. If you take your own one, uh, then yeah, generally speaking, you want to link them up with Vegeta. If not, you still have Vegeta, Goku, MUI Goku, and AGL Goku, and the Blue Boys. So you got a lot of straightforward damage dealers, but you don't have a lot of really good LR supports. And Android 17 and, uh, or Team Universe 7 or whatever it is, feels like a really good uh, support you have a unit that can hit you know 15 16 million right out the gate on their own super can provide a boost to your units in the same turn and a two turn boost as well which will give them a huge boost for upcoming fights and then you also have crit chance boost as well so i don't know i find the android 17 uh team of universe 7 android 17 or whichever way you want to phrase it uh, i find them to be really really good solely off of the basis that they like i say uh tend to really 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 accommodate the team super well plus their numbers are really good i mean at 55 percent we're looking at a 370k defensive unit with a 54 percent damage reduction uh, and also you know a decent chunk of attack stats you know 13 14 million 
and the support they provide in the rest of the team. So I think for me, um, yeah, overall, I have to say they are a great pick. Um, yeah, for any team. Of course, they are limited, uh, very limited, in fact, incredibly limited because of the fact that you have to have not only USS but reps you know, seven units on the team. But I have to be honest, and I have to say, you know, I think regardless of the limitations, I think as a unit, they are very, very good, uh, especially on the reps of you know, seven team. Uh, I think they're great. I think defensively they're awesome after super. I think the way they accommodate the rest of the team is clever um, and enables them to kind of function as a, a high defensive uh, reliability um, kind of support unit. And I think that's really, really good of them. That if you have a Wii active or something, could also be used to kind of throw down in the first slot. Um, but yeah, overall good stuff. Android Assault, Infinite Energy, Solid Support. Shocking speed, total power, fierce battle, and legendary power of the links. But you don't need to worry about that too much. Because, like I say, um, generally speaking, total the power, solid support, shocking speed are going to be your primary links. Android Assault and Infinite Energy are relatively hard to get on an A Reps Universe 17, but you do obviously have an MVP 17, the physical 17, and yeah, he fulfills the requirements and also provides a huge defensive boost. Great synergy between the two units uh, in terms of links. So yeah, I think ultimately that's a good alternative uh, for a lot of players, especially if you're looking to run you know, this unit. You, you probably want to go down that road. But uh, yeah, that's essentially it for me. I hope you guys you know, enjoyed the video. It's always greatly appreciated. But yeah, I think ultimately that is it for me. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. So until then... Bye.